So you guys are wondering how you guys can get PhD Flopper and Black Ops 3 Zombies? Well, make sure to stick around this video and find out. So all cringy intros aside, this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to get PhD Flopper in Zombies. If you guys didn't know, PhD Flopper basically allowed you to take zero explosive damage, and uh, you could like shoot a ray gun at your feet, and you wouldn't take splash damage, and things like that. And I just think that this is a gobblegum that kind of brings that back, and allows you guys to uh, kind of have that again. So um, yeah, so if you're wondering what the gobblegum is, it's kind of an underrated gobblegum, but it's danger closest. So this gobblegum basically it activates immediately and lasts for three full rounds and it allows you guys to take zero explosive damage if you guys want to you guys can I don't know use this gobble gum and then go ahead and just pack a punch the MR6 or something and then just run around and start shooting at your feet so the zombies don't kill you and um, you know you will not take damage for at least the three rounds that that is activated so that's why I personally think that this is honestly one of the better gobble gums and I think and so yeah, so PhD Flopper kind of had a similar effect to this. This is why I'm calling it uh, how to get PhD Flopper because we haven't seen PhD Flopper. And it's just a great thing because the Gobblegum system is honestly one of the better things that I've seen added, and once you actually kind of know what the Gobblegums are and know how to use them, the Gobblegum system honestly becomes one of the most useful things, like, in this game right now. And so, being able to kind of bring back PhD Flopper in an odd way is pretty good with Danger Closest. So, yeah, guys, I definitely think it is an underrated Gobblegum, so make sure to go use it if you guys are looking to have, I don't know, some sort of strategy on Zetsubono Shimo if you're gonna try to get the mother spider down in uh, the cave then definitely use it because the MR6 pack a punch do do a lot on that map but yeah so just like a friendly tip but if you guys are wanting to use this gobblegum now that you kind of know then go ahead and use it but anyways guys thank you guys for watching this video make sure to subscribe for some more awesome Call of Duty Zombies content and I'll see you guys later peace